Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV and welcome to another live broadcast. Now, in today's live broadcast, I'm going to be discussing a really popular question and topic, which is, if you're buying a house with a septic tank, what do you need to know? What are the pros and the cons? What are the pitfalls? Well, I'm going to help put your mind at rest today and show you what you need to do if you're buying a house with a septic tank. So why is this broadcast why is this topic so popular at the moment well it's because all the septic tank laws changed on the 1st of january 2020 all the rules and the regulations changed these are some of the biggest changes that septic tank owners have faced in the last you know experience in the last 300 years so how does that affect you then if you're buying a house with a septic tank? Well, basically the government has brought out an initiative. It's called the Septic Tank Pollution Act. And basically they're trying to stop septic tanks polluting the soil and water courses. And so to enforce these new rules and regulations, they're sending out government septic tank inspectors this year and next year to every single home in England, Wales and Scotland that has a septic tank to check whether their septic tank is polluting the environment or not. After their inspection, they will either pass or fail your septic tank. So the whole point of this live broadcast, right, is to help you and guide you really to, sh to, sh to show you, to help you ascertain whether the septic tank connected to the house that you're buying is legal or illegal. All right, so what I've done, I've basically done this broadcast in a form of a kind of questionnaire. So these are questions that you need to ask the people who own the house that you're looking to buy. And these questions you would ask via your solicitor. All right, so let me get straight into this, okay? So what kind of questions, or what are the questions that you need to get your solicitor to ask, right? Because let's face it, if, 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 if the house or the property you're buying has an old septic tank that's tired, it's worn, it's never been serviced, then you're gonna buy the property, right? The government inspectors are gonna come round in a few weeks or in a couple of months, and they're gonna condemn <laughs> your septic tank, which is gonna cost you a lot of money. So if you can preempt that, then obviously, you know, it's gonna save you thousands and thousands of pounds, and that's the point of this broadcast today. So let me show you the questions you need to ask. Ask them via uh, means of your solicitor. So. One of the first things you need to ascertain, you need to ask where the tank is located. So is the septic tank located in their front garden, their back garden? Is it located in their neighbor's garden? If it is, that's gonna, you know, straight away pose <laughs> problems because, you know, it has to do with way leaves and getting permission to, you know, if it's on, on their land, then you need access, you know, to get to the septic tank if any work needs doing and stuff like that. So if it's on someone else's property, it can present a whole new load of legal problems. So where is the tank located? Is it in a field somewhere? Is it in the farmer's field? You know, so these are very important questions to ask. Another question that you need to ask is what's the septic tank made from? Is it made from bricks? Is it made from fiberglass? Is it made from plastic? Is it made from breeze blocks? Is it made from concrete? Why is that important? Well, if it's made from fiberglass, fiberglass has a very short lifespan. It can crack easily, it can puncture easily. If it punctures or it cracks, that means it will leak. All right, and if it's leaking into the environment, then the septic tank is just gonna fail straight away when the government inspectors come around. If it's made from concrete, right, then typically most concrete septic tanks, you know, have a lifespan of 100 to 300 years. So that's a good thing, you know? All right, so how old is the septic tank? That's another question you need to ask. So is it two years old, 20 years old, 70 years old, how old is the septic tank? Because the older it is, the, the greater the chance that it has become tired, it's become worn, 
it started to, you know, the, the mortar started to fall out of the joints. It started to basically disintegrate, you know. So, so depending of obviously what material it's made from, if it's made from bricks and mortar, then obviously it may need rendering. Bricks may need replacing. So if it's relatively new, then obviously, you know, you, the maintenance work that you're going to need to carry out on the tank is going to be a lot further down the line. Whereas if it's 70 or 80 years old and no maintenance has been carried out on the tank, then that's something that you're going to have to figure in, you know, your costs when buying the property. What's the capacity of the septic tank? Is it, uh, I don't know, 2,000 gallons, 3,000 gallons, 4,000 gallons, 10,000 gallons? What is the capacity or the volume of the septic tank? Well, why is that important? Because septic tanks now, one of the new rules and regulations determines that the volume or the capacity of the septic tank needs to correspond with the number of bedrooms or people dwelling in the house. So if the volume of the tank isn't of sufficient capacity or big enough to cater for the number of bedrooms that your house has got or or the number of people in there, then it'll automatically get a strike. It will automatically become illegal because the size of the septic tank has to be greater or, you know, it has to cater for the number of people or the bedrooms in the tank. That's another new requirement from the government. How often has the septic tank that you're looking, you know, connected to the house you're looking to buy been emptied? Well, most people, it's my experience, don't get their tank emptied, you know, uh, you know, or they get their tank emptied once every two years, once every three years, once every five years, once every 10 years. Some people only ever get it done every, once every 20 years. So why, that's imp why is that important? Because the new government legislation determines that you need to get your septic tank emptied at least every 12 months. Why? Because septic tanks fill up with fat, grease and sludge, right? Um, it's not so much the water in the septic tank because the water in a septic tank will always be a certain height But it always drains away But if you don't suck out the fat grease and the sludge then it blocks up the soak away Which allows the water to soak away and if the soak away is blocked, right? Then it means it's not working as efficiently or as effectively as it should do So that means number one, you know if it's backing up to the house um, then you're going to have to get it emptied two or three, four times a year, which is going to cost you, what, two, three hundred times a pound a go. If the soak away is blocked, then it means, you know, it's not working properly. The tank's going to smell. It's going to overflow. So it's important to know how often the tank's emptied, but not just verbally, right? You need to see proof of that by septic tank emptying receipts. If the septic tank, if I was buying a house with a septic tank and, and they only had, you know, there been three septic tank emptying receipts so after, over the last 10 years, right, I'd be very suspicious and straight away it would ring alarm bells and I'd, and I think, no, 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 no. This system hasn't been serviced. It hasn't been ma maintained. I'm going to look to putting a new one in. Okay, so next question. Does the septic tank of the house that you're buying have an EN12566 certification? Well, that is basically like the MOT certificate given to the septic tank, right? So, you know, every year, every 12 months, your car has to go in for an MOT. If it passes, they give you an MOT certificate, which means it's roadworthy and it's legal. And this certification means that the septic tank is being built to a specific standard, right? Which means, right, that um, it's fully legal and it will do the job intended. So if, if, if your septic tank doesn't have an EN12566 certificate, then it will be in effect illegal. So the certification that particular certification has only been issued on septic tanks installed the last five years. So what does that mean then if you're buying a house that's got a concrete tank, a fiberglass tank, a brick built septic tank that was put, that was put in 10, 15, 20, 25 years ago? Well, if they haven't got a, that certification, it will be illegal. Many septic tank owners, right, part of the new laws state that septic tank owners must now apply for retrospective planning approval. So let's say I had a septic tank 
it was 30 years old. Obviously, I'm not going to have an EN12566 certification. So I'd have to go to my local building control and planning permission. I'd get them around to do a site inspection. They say, yeah, Jason, uh, your tank's all right. It's, it's working fine. They would then, right, issue me an EN12566 certification or they'd make me put a new tank in that had that certification, right? Uh, and by getting a certification approved retrospective planning approval then that would mean that my tank is fully legal so these are things to look at, uh, out for you need to ask has the septic tank right that you're looking to buy been repaired in the last 5 10 15 20 25 50 years right if it has can you please you need to ask for the receipts right the repair receipts to see what work was carried out what the guarantee was for you know uh, so let's say for example they put a new soak away in all right and it was 10 years ago right what guarantee or warranty did they give with the soak away if they gave a 25 year uh, uh, guarantee with it you've still got 15 years left of that guarantee so that's an important thing to ask for as well another thing is to ask them would the people mind if you paid someone to carry out a site inspection typically it will cost you about four five six hundred quid to get a company to go out to the property you're looking to buy to inspect the septic tank and soak away they may use cameras and stuff like that to have a look internally inside the septic tank and the soak away now if they say uh not really then again if that was me the alarm bells would start to ring and I'd wonder why, you know, what are they trying to hide? Um, if they don't mind, then obviously the people who've done a site inspection will answer a lot of these questions for you. Last question, although that we've slightly, um, you know, already covered that, is, is the septic tank shared? Now, this can pose a big problem too. Let me give you an example. The reason I got into this business was because I was on a shared septic tank. I didn't know a lot about septic tanks 20 years ago. I moved into a terrace property. Uh, we were one of four properties and the septic tank was in the first house. And the other three properties, one of which I was in, shared that septic tank. Now, the neighbour whose um, garden the septic tank was in didn't get on with with me or any of the other neighbors right and for some strange reason she used to get her septic tank emptied once and twice a week she just i don't know ocd or whatever she just wanted to do that right it was costing all of us 90 pounds a week right individually to get this septic tank emptied and this went on for about a year or two years and it made me and my wife very very ill because you imagine you're having to fork out 90 pound a week for you know ongoing maintenance and emptying costs for something that you don't even own you don't even know why you're paying it right so it it basically caused a lot of ill feeling not just with me but with the other neighbors as well and so eventually i thought stuff this and I put my own septic tank and soak away in and cut myself off so I didn't have to pay that 90 pound a week but the point is it was hassle and it was stress that I didn't need I didn't ask for and I didn't want so the point is you can save yourself all that by finding out if it, if you're going to be on a shared system if you is on a shared system you need to consider putting your own septic tank and soak away in don't even think twice about it right all right so those are the kind of questions you need to ask so what if you've done your research you've asked your questions and you find out that the septic tank that you're going to uh, inherit or purchase you know that's connected to the house you're going to buy is illegal and it won't pass the government site inspections well you've got a couple of options right let's give you these couple of options option number one you'll need to put a new you need to install a new septic tank and soak away or the people who you're looking to buy the house from will have to install a new septic tank and soak away so what's that going to cost them or what's that going to cost you well typically the going rate is anywhere from eight 
to £12,000. So that's what you need to figure in to the budget. If you find out that the septic tank, if you suspect it is illegal and it doesn't conform with all the new rules and regulations, then you need to budget a minimum of eight to £12,000. All right. But uh, the local council will help you in this because you'll need to contact them. You'll need to apply for retrospective planning approval even though you're putting a new system in you'll still have to plan apply for planning permission and approval to put a new system in they will guide you whether to go for this option or the next op option now the next option right is option two which still means putting a new system in but instead of installing a new septic tank and soak away you'll be asked to install an electric sewage treatment oh let me uh <laughs> it's hard to write and talk sometimes a treatment plant there we go and basically um, an electric sewage treatment plant has got motors and compressors and 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 stuff like that in and all the wastewater, the poo and the wee and the fat and the grease and the sludge, everything goes into there, you know, dishwasher water. It treats it to, um, uh, uh, you know, cleans it to a certain standard, a certain level. And then when it goes into the soil or a water course, it won't pollute it. Uh, both these systems come with an EN12566 certification. But the point is, right, building control will tell you which of those options that they would prefer that you go for, right? So for example, let's say you're near a water course or a sensitive wildlife protection zone or a well or a borehole, something like that, then nine times out of 10, the uh, local council, the environmental agency will opt that you go for option two. Now option two is a lot more expensive, right? Depending on the number of bedrooms, it will cost you anywhere from 10 to 18,000 pounds to do. All right, but, uh, Nevertheless, that is, those are the only two options or routes you can go down to bring uh, uh, that illegal septic tank up to scratch, to make it conform, to make it legal. So how you uh, wrangle that and put this into practice is, you know, you know, I could hold another broadcast, you know, on discussing how to go about this. So let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about. Well, let's say the people that you're buying the house from, you find out their tank is illegal and you say, look, you know, it's illegal. We've got to put a new septic tank or soak away in, or we've got to put a new electric sewage treatment plant in. It's going to cost 12 grand or 18 grand to do, uh, which one, depending on which one you go for, they'll say, uh, yeah, and... And you'll say, well, uh, you know, I'm not going to buy a house that's got an illegal sewage system to it. Either you spend that 12 or 18 grand and put a new system in, or we don't want your house. Or you reduce the price of your house down by 12 or 18,000 quid, and then we'll buy your property. Now, obviously, you know, if I'm selling my house, right, to you, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to look very favorably at this. I mean, who, who on earth wants to reduce, I mean, would you? Who wants to reduce their house price down by 12 or 18, almost 20,000 quid? No one, right? So they're not going to, you know, take this kind of uh, <laughs> um, alternative very lightly. All right, so some people may do that just to get the sale. Some people will say, well, forget it. You know, you can sort it out yourself. You got the price at a house at a good price. Other people will say, well, I'll tell you what, I'll go halves with you. You pay six grand, I'll pay six grand. You pay nine grand, I'll pay nine grand. So you see what I mean? Trying to implement, <laughs> if you find out their septic tank is illegal, trying to implement, you know, um, <laughs> these options, um, is a different kettle of fish. So whilst I can advise you <laughs> on the budget and what it's going to cost you to replace the system and the questions you need to ask, it's a whole new ball game trying to get the householder who's selling the house to actually drop his house price by 18 grand or spend 18 grand to put a system in. So uh, I, I hope that's helped. But the point is, right, the point is, um, if they're not willing to put in a new system, 
you know, and uh, they're not willing to drop the price of their house, then maybe <laughs> you need to consider getting, looking for another house where the, uh, where the vendors will drop their price or put a new system in for you. But anyway, those are some of the pros and the cons of buying a house with a septic tank. So I hope that's helped. If you need any more free advice or information, then you can go to two places and just go on Google and type in septic tank TV. You'll see loads more videos I've done to help people buying a house with a septic tank and lots of the legal wranglings and problems that come for that. Or you can just go to my website, which is septictank.co.uk. And again, you can see lots of videos. You can see lots of advice, lots of information, but also lots of products. Let's say you're buying a house that needs a septic tank replacing. I do uh, lots of systems there that are, are, are legal and, and approved with all the new rules and regulations and septic tank and soak away kits, which will save you a lot of money, you know? So if that's a route you have to go down. So listen, thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon.